Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. I'm about to make a black bean and polenta casserole. I eat a lot of beans. I like cornbread. So I'm hoping I like this recipe and I hope my family likes it too. My name is Stephanie Leach. I'm a certified health coach and juice therapist. And if you're interested in juicing or getting more plants into your diet, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. So let's get cooking. Okay, so into the skillet, I'm going to put this 10 ounces of chopped spinach that I cooked earlier. All I really had to do is just heat it up for like a minute and a half in the microwave. And then instead of using uh, paper towels, I use my tofu press to press out all the water. Back here is uh, pretty hot because it's sitting over the, the flue for the oven. So I'm going to use two forks to break this up. I've got the oven preheated to 400 and I'm getting this pan warmed up. So you want an even layer in the bottom of your skillet even as you can get it. If I hadn't pressed it so long, it might not be so stuck together. But that's okay. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so into this pan, we're gonna put the equivalent of two cups of, or two cans of beans, rinsed and drained. I made some black beans yesterday. So this is, these are my beans. Um, to that, we're going to add two, let's see, a half a cup of green chilies and half a cup of vegan cream cheese. I'm using Kite Hill Jalapeno Cream Cheese. I recommend trying to find a brand that's oil free. I don't use Daya because that has a lot of oil in it. And rather than measure this out, I'm just gonna put in half of this eight ounce container. So you can go to the um, Kite Hill website and enter your zip code and there's a, fi a store finder and you'll be able to see which stores in your area carry this cream cheese. It is so good. Look at it. It's nice and creamy. It's just um, cultured almond milk. So instead of making it with dairy, it's made with almond milk. So we're gonna just uh, warm this up until the cream cheese melts. Doesn't take long. There's plenty of flavor going on in there. I'm gonna give it a little taste and see if it needs any salt and pepper. Because I didn't salt my beans. Maybe a little bit. I didn't put any over here. There we go. I love my electric pepper milk. If you need to grind half a teaspoon of pepper, this makes it a whole lot faster. Okay, don't want that to go too long. And we're just going to put it over the spinach. Spread that out. Now beans are really a fantastic 
plant-based protein because they contain fiber. They keep you fuller longer than animal protein. There's a lot of uh, beneficial phytonutrients in there that you don't get with animal protein. And beans have this second meal effect. They help balance blood sugar even at meals um, later in the day if you've eaten beans that day or in the past 24 hours. So I'm gonna kick this back on. We need to make our polenta. Okay, so my water's come to a boil. Got two cups of water and now I'm gonna add a cup of, this is actually medium grind cornmeal. It's supposed to be a good equivalent to polenta. I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. I'm going to just stir for two to three minutes until it's slightly thickened. Watch out for splatters. Okay, that didn't take long. It's pretty thick. So I'm going to stop there. Pour over the polenta. And just smooth it out so you've got an even layer. And now we'll put this in the oven and I think it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see. Okay, so this polenta just came out of the oven. I left it in for 20 minutes. My oven tends to run a little under temp. So as you can see, it's pretty dry on top. I'm going to make a little topping for it. Got some um, sweet red chili sauce. Okay. So some of that, and then I'm gonna make it a little hotter. Go half, half a teaspoon chili garlic sauce there. Okay. A whisk here. to brush this over the top. Just give it a nice glaze. Bring a little more jazz to the dish. Probably want to let it sit for five or ten minutes before you try to serve it. There we go. Looks nice. And then you can top it with some fresh cilantro. You could add more to your serving at the table. Looks good, can't wait to dig in. Time to serve. Looks really good. 
It smells good too. You can smell the um, green chilies, definitely. Here we go. It smells really good. Got the spinach on the bottom. I think we have a winner. This is really tasty. I like the chili garlic sauce on the top and the polenta. <clears throat> you can see the polenta is done. It's not too mushy, um, which I like. It's more cornbread style. And then the uh, beans are mixed up with the cream cheese mixture and the spinach goes together really well. Hmm. I'll definitely be making this again. You might want to check your seasonings before you put it into the skillet. Double check your salt and pepper in your uh, bean mixture. Make sure it's where you want it. Um, this one I could probably add a little bit more salt to, but I'm trying to keep it to a minimum anyway. And it's just it just takes a few days to adjust your taste buds to less sodium. But um, yeah, if you want the full recipe, just go, there's a link below this video. You can go to my blog and um, download and print the recipe. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share it. Um, let me know in the comments um, what you liked or, or don't like about it and um, what you'd like to see in future videos. And I look forward to talking to you soon. See you in the next video.